If you're wanting quick attention and growth on your social platforms, short form video is going to be a value packed option for your content creation strategy. 40% of all videos online are currently already short form videos and 70% of consumers prefer to watch short form content versus long when they're learning about a product or a service. That's why these bite sized pieces of content are going to be a great way for you to creatively connect with your target demographic. In this video, we're going to break down the advantages of short form video and also give you some tips for creating really great and creative short form video for your audience. Now we're talking about the advantages of short form video. It's important to note that what's cool about short form video is you get to use your whole phone to interact with the customer. You're getting all of their eyeball attention from top to bottom while they are scrolling through the thumbs. That is why it's really important for you to make sure that that time that they're spent with you is really high quality. I highly encourage you to use the back of your camera when you are recording versus this selfie camera because it's gonna give you a much better, higher quality content. What's also great is that it's really easy to create short form video. Somewhere along the way, it became very forgiving for us to create content with our phones. People expect it to be raw and unfiltered, not super high 4K, high def quality that we're gonna like see on a giant TV. We're looking for an experience that's much more raw and authentic, which makes it easier for you to make. Now with less time in production means that you also have to remember that the first three seconds of your video are going to be the most most important part of your video. So make sure whatever's happening in those first three seconds are going to hold their attention really fast. You have from the time that they go from here to here with their thumb to stop them and get their attention. Don't waste your time introducing yourself or having the dreaded millennial pause. All right, we want to make sure that we are hooking them bright and early out the get go with a nice action packed shot that's going to get their attention. Consider doing something like, you're never going to believe this, or, oh my God, this is happening. Or did you know, like some sort of big movement and powerful statement to grab their attention at the beginning. Now we're creating short form content, we're looking for bite sized content. It's really quick and easy to consume. We don't want to spend too much time on a short and we don't want to make sure that it is too long. The quicker, the better. That doesn't mean that you need to talk faster or give less value. It just means you need to get to the point and hold attention in a really smart way. That's why my tip for you when it comes to editing these videos is you want to do one or two sentences and sort of change what is happening in the shot. And my tip for you with this is that you want to edit really quickly. What does this mean? You want to maybe say one or two sentences at a time and then stop recording or change what is happening around you. You can say something and do a long shot if you want, but make sure that you are holding attention by having movement or moving the camera closer or farther, having hands happening or showing something. I personally like the idea of saying something for one or two sentences, pausing the video and then rotating, spinning. <laughs> in my chair to change how the shot looks. It's almost like an impromptu jump cut and it's a really fun way to record your content and hold attention for your audience. Now the content that is highly consumed and the most engaged with is stuff that's going to be trending. These are going to be things that happen in like a 48, 72 hour life cycle on the platforms and that everyone is jumping in on them. Everybody is contributing to them. Everybody is making a version of that themselves. Now, oftentimes this can be like connected to like a song or something that's happening that's pop culture or relevant. Now, if you're looking to make sure that your content is highly consumed and highly engaged with, I encourage you to tap into trends. Trends are going to be things that are happening in repeat over and over and over again on the different platforms. So these are going to be things like the girl math trend that we saw in high popularity back in 2023, where everyone was giving their version of like how girl math worked. And then there was all these other versions that happened like travel math or boy math or teacher math or whatever it may be so that people could tap into the trend and make it relevant and specific to what it is that they are doing. Another really fun trend that I have seen lately is like, hi, I'm a creator. And it's like you go into these different funny, sassy things about yourself that are related to your industry. Now, something that could be to your detriment is if you're using a copyrighted trend. So you should definitely not be using any copyrighted music of any kind when you're creating this content. It can get you a lot of trouble legally and be really bad for you, especially if you are a brand. Additionally, you don't wanna use copyrighted images and things like that. One of the things that was the biggest victim of this was gonna be all the Barbie content that happened in the summer of 2023, where everyone was using the Barbie content, but it was legally not theirs to use and caused a lot of problems for those creators. So make sure that whatever you are creating, it is specifically made for you and also includes copyright-free imagery and 
and music. And to make sure that your content is seen by the right target audience, it's important to remember the devil is in the details. The details are gonna be all the little things that are gonna make your video perform the best as possible. So you wanna make sure that you're asking yourself, would my customer like this? Is this gonna be helpful for them? Am I being specific enough? Am I doing the things in my post to make sure that my content is being seen by the right person? This could be having the right location included, having the right hashtags, having the right at, at the person if you're talking about them, if you're having visuals on there, having the right words on the screen, having the closed captions on the screen so that the platform knows what your content is about so we can also get it in front of those people as well. Those little details are going to make up all of the things that you need to make sure that your video not only performs well, but gets in front of the right target demographic for yourself. I want you to take all of these tips and head over to this video right here where you are going to go learn how to make a short form vertical video with Camtasia.